I've been given the go ahead to make a new battery pack for this free go e bike battery. This is part two for this battery pack. Let me quickly show you the problem with the original. This pack had a couple of swollen cells, well, one at least. This being that one, it was low voltage compared to the rest. Now I plan to make a lithium ion one to replace it with 18650s. Do you have any interest in looking at the insides of the old pack? No? Okay. I'll be using battery holders for the new pack. Say so it's a 36 volt pack, so I'll need, or I'm aiming for, 10 in series, 4 in parallel. Makes 40 cells. Add two of these, one top, one bottom. That'll be the full size of the pack compared to the original. I say it's got about 10 mil or so there. Next step would be to check in the housing to make sure it does fit. That should have room to spare. Backwards and forwards. And the BMS in its original position. Even though these are new cells, I feel it's important to check the voltage on each one before going any further. I'll do that to all 40. I've marked out my series and parallel connections on the batteries in marker. Little white dots show me where not to cross. Now it's ready for welding. How long did it take to weld that pack? Too bloody long. I was using the combination of this ladder type stuff which happens to fit the holders. Not all of them do. I have a smaller one that just won't go over the plastic. And the regular strip both 0.2 mil not too shabby and the bolted check before going any further set it one half as it should be the next step is to attach the balance leads the battery. So unfortunately it'll have to go there and the original wires only went halfway down with the original pack so they'll have to be extended. Confusing it certainly is. I think you need compound eyeballs to be able to wire one of these up. All the wires going to the right cell groups This is only a six cell tester. Try the first six. About three and a half volts as they should be. I'll just have to move the meter up to do the rest. I have checked them, they're all three and a half volts. I've now insulated that top and bottom. I put some sponge on the bottom there. Save these wires rubbing against the holders. These thick wires are beginning to get on my nerves. It's not silicon, it's a really rigid, nasty PVC. They'll have to go. This is the original output wire. <laughs> no. And that one's gone in at least one place as well. The latter go. I have my probes for the meter on the output wires. It's only showing 30.6. Let's try the try the key in. That maybe needs that to switch the BMS on. Here we go. 
that's not too bad because everything is safe and secure and more than anything else insulated I'll just finish off I'll put this cap on top and tape that and I'll try and give it a charge this is the charging arrangement I haven't changed anything from the original it's all original wiring it's a three pin plug This goes kabam. Let's move it slightly. See the charger. Life insurance, Jack. So that's the main app, but thirty five. Point two and charging. Well, that's fully charged. Forty one point eight. Green on charger. Oh So it's six cells. Add that one, add that one. Two, two, one, eight, two, three, two, zero. Close enough. It's time for a discharge test. That's showing the main voltage out and the clamp meter for current I'm going to aim for about 7 amps 7 amps 40 volts about 280 watts bikes motor probably 250 watts yeah, 7.16 amps Tend to let that run until the voltage comes down to about 36, 37. Should take a few minutes. Let's see if the BMS can handle it. That's been running for about 20 minutes. Voltage dropped to 38. That'll do as a storage charge. I didn't want to leave this on full voltage for too long. Should be kept at about 738 volts for storage. It's dropped down to about six and a half amp. I'll just do a final check on cell balance before putting it back together. Five, six, seven, nine, two, nine, seven, nine, four. Move it up. It's the last four I want on this. Do that one, do that one. Six, nine, two, nine, seven, nine, five. Superb. the heat shrink on, shrink down nicely. I'll retrofit it in back into the housing. I put a bit of foam there, top and bottom. I need to pack it out a little bit more. Then I'll attend to the output wires. I've made a new plate to go on the back of this terminal block. The old one was uh, slightly shattered. Shop assembly and back together in one piece. Let's have a look at the gauge. Does it show four 
when it's off. Ah, one blink. One blink. So that must be fully on. It's about 39 volts at the moment. This was rattling about when I got the original. It's not rattling now. There's plenty of foam in there. And a quick micro charge. Make sure it charges after assembly. Yeah, it's going up immediately here. Give it five minutes. Now I can confidently send that back to the customer. If that's been useful or not, give me a thumbs down, thumbs up, like, dislike, leave a comment. And a popular Mediterranean meatish sandwich.